Hey there, I'm Lauren Taylor, a Squarespace website designer, brand designer, and SEO strategist for female coaches and creatives. In this video, I'm going to show you one, how to set up your Google Analytics account, and two, show you the back end of your Google Analytics account inside of Squarespace. So to get started, so I'm going to drop this page below, um, but right here there is a link to actually set up your Google Analytics account. And what's going to happen is it is going to give you a key. So once you get that key, you can come over to the back end of your account, click on settings, click on advanced, click on external API keys, and then here's where you'd add your Google Analytics account number. And you'll notice that we'll start with UA dash um, and then a bunch of numbers. So once you have Google Analytics set up and you've given it some time, maybe a month or so, for Google to start collecting all that data, you can go under Analytics and you'll see that Google Analytics is automatically set up here in the back end. Just going to move that down. So right here um, under Overview, under Traffic, you can see the amount of unique visitors, um, the visits, and the page views. And you can also come over here and I'm going to move that down there. <laughs> um, Actually, put it over here. Okay, so um, what you can do is um, you can change the, um, the amount of data that's being shown. So if you just wanna see today or yesterday or month to date, last month, year to date or custom, you can do that there. And if you scroll, so if you go to visits and then you scroll down, you will also see visits by device type, by browser, by source and then by operating system. So this is like a really quick view of um, how people are viewing your website. And then you can also go under geography. Again, you can change um, the timeline over here. And if you scroll down, you can see all the different countries that people are visiting your website from. And you can go a little deeper and see the actual, um, you know, if for the US, you can view the actual states and um, the cities. It's um, <laughs> quite creepy, <laughs> but it works. Um, and then if you go under traffic sources, you can see um, if it's direct, if people are finding you through social media, you can see for me, Pinterest is the highest. Um, and then also referral. So um, if people are finding me through um, other websites or even um, from some of the, uh, the, the footer links that I have on my clients' websites, people are coming to me from there as well. And then if you go down to Google search keywords, you can see um, how people are finding you um, and what they're actually searching to find you. And down here, again, you can just see like a bunch of the different keywords, um, how many clicks you've gotten, the, the impressions, um, the click rate and the average position in the search results. So of course, for my name, I'm showing up as number one. And then for brand style board, I'm typically on the, the bottom of the first page for that. And then you can just scroll down and see where you're ranking for all of those different search terms. And you'll see that there will be quite a lot um, once you start building out your website and blogging. And then up here, you can just, um, you can click through the different um, settings up here. And then you can also change if you want daily or weekly down here. Coming down to form and button conversions, I have no forms. Um, all of my forms are through my email marketing platform. But if I click on a button clicks and then I come down here, again, you can break it up in daily or weekly. And you can see, um, you can break it up by button or by page. Um, by page just seems more intuitive. Um, so this is the link um, that is in my Instagram bio. So I can see what um, people are clicking on and um, yeah, how many times they've clicked on it in the last 30 days. So that is also um, very uh, good to check out as well to see how well um, the buttons are doing and if people are, are actually clicking on them. And then another area is popular content. And this is really important because especially if you're finding that um, you're getting a lot of clicks to one of your blog posts, like for me, um, my case study for one of my clients is actually doing the best of any of the other blog posts that I have down here. So maybe I would go in there, update it a little bit, um, or just double check that the uh, calls to action are strong and things like that. So that is kind of like an overview of the back end 
of Google Analytics. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.